Hi, Kipsters. Today we're going to be solving a word problem uh, that is going to uh, require us to draw a visual model to help to better understand it. We've been working on comparison models uh, and part whole models, and today uh, we're going to be trying to figure out which model is it uh, based on reading the question. Is it a part whole or is it a comparison model? Uh, and then we're going to uh, solve the problem and set up the model just as we would for uh, any other problem. Now today you're going to notice that in each problem there are fractions. Now we know that fractions are numbers on the number line. Um, so we're going to treat the fraction just as if it were a whole number um, because we're going to operate on it uh, just as it was as well. Remember we, can, remember we can only add or subtract when we have the same noun the same uh, unit, the same denominator, or the same denomination. So we're going to keep that fact in mind. All right, let's read the word problem to figure out who and what's involved in the problem. It says, Kayla weighed her Halloween treats. So far I know Kayla's involved in the problem. Kayla counted one-fourth of a pound of lollipops and uh, two, two-sevenths of a pound of gobstoppers. Now, it seems as if lo lollipops and gobstoppers are Halloween treats. Uh, so this is about Kayla's Halloween, Kayla's Halloween treat so far. She also counted one-third of a pound of mints. Mints seems to be a Halloween treat as well. Um, how many pounds of candy did Kayla have altogether? So this seems to be about Kayla's candy in pounds. Okay? So let's write that down as our label. Okay, we have Kayla's candy in pounds, and let's underline the question. How many pounds of candy did Kayla have all together? Let's write the answer to that question with a blank for what the answer will be. How many pounds of candy did Kayla have all together? Kayla had blank pounds of candy all together. Had blank pounds of candy all together. Okay, now we begin to read the word problems, stopping when we see a punctuation mark or too much information. All right, uh, well, before we go over this, it says, how many pounds of, of candy did Kayla have all together? Um, I read this, and I didn't hear anything about um, how many more, how many less. So it seems as if this can be written as a part-whole problem, because it seems like uh, uh, the lollipops... The gobstoppers and the mints are all parts of her treats, and the treats are all together her whole. So it looks like I can make um, a part whole model. So we'll make a part whole model. Okay. So it says, Kayla weighed her Halloween treats. Okay. Stop. No information that needs to be written down. Okay. Uh, there's nothing that needs to be put into the model with that. Let's continue. She, she is Kayla, counted one-fourth of a pound of lollipops. Stop. I'm stopping because I see there's another number right after the word and. She counted one-fourth of a pound of lollipops. So I'm just going to draw a bar and label that one-fourth. And from here to here is one-fourth of a pound of candy. I'm getting that that one-fourth of a pound of candy right there. Okay, let's continue. Uh, and two-sevenths of a pound of gobstoppers. And two-sevenths, so from here to here is two-sevenths of a pound of gobstoppers. Stop. I took care of that piece of information. And then she also counted one-third of a pound of mints. Stop. She counted one-third of a pound of mints. I'm sorry, I didn't label these. This is lollipop. This is gobstoppers. And this is for the mints. Okay, so 
Now we are asked, how many pounds of candy did Kayla have all together? Well, Kayla, this is Kayla's candy. So that means I'm starting here and I'm ending here. So that means I'm putting together one-fourth with two-sevenths with one-third. So let me draw my length marker. We're trying to figure out from here to here. That is the question. All right. So what we're going to do is we're going to be adding up these fractions. So let's start off with an equivalent statement. Our critical statement, how we're going to start this off, is 1 fourth plus 2 sevenths plus 1 third equals, OK? Now, I'm looking at the denominators, and I'm adding. So I don't have the same denomination, so I must, um, I must add, um, but I must find the common denominations first. So remember, you can find, uh, you can make fractions equivalent by multiplying the numerator and denominator by the same number. Um, and we learned that when you have fractions with different uh, denominators, you can multiply the fractions by the other fractions, numerator and denominator by the other fractions denominator. So we have one fourth and two-sevenths. I can multiply one, one fourth, one and the four in one fourth by the other fraction's denominator, which is seven. So let's do that. One times seven, and we'll make an equivalent fraction. One times seven is seven, and four times seven is twenty-eight. So now I can multiply the, both the two and the seven by the other fraction's denominator, four, so I get 2 times 4 is 8, and 7 times 4 is 28. Now I have the same denominator, OK? Um, but I also notice, so let's actually add up those two fractions first. Um, all right. Actually, you know what? Let's, uh, yeah, let's add those two fractions up first. All right. So. 7 28ths plus 8 28ths, so I'll write that right below, is equal to 7 28ths plus 8 28ths plus 1 third. So I'm, gonna, I'm just going to add up the 7 eighths, 7 28ths plus 8 8, eight 28ths, and that gives me 15 28ths plus 1 third. All right, now if I notice, they don't have the same denominator, so I'm going to multiply both 15 28ths um, by the other fraction's denominator, which is 3. So if I multiply 15 times 3, let me show my work off to the side here. You get 45. If I multiply uh, 28 by 3, let me just give myself some space over here. Then I get 84. And let me multiply um, now 1 third one-third, the, both the one and the three, by the other fraction's denominator, 28. One times 28 is 28. And three times 28, we've already determined, is 84. Right there. So we have now 15 28ths. Sorry, 15. Sorry about that. Let me erase. So we have uh, 15 28ths is now equivalent to 45 84ths plus 1 third is now equivalent to 28 84ths. Now we have the same denominator. And 45 84ths plus 28 84ths 
is going to equal some number of 80 fourths because the denominator just names the unit when we're adding our subtracting numbers. And let me add the numbers up off to the side. 45 plus 28, and that is equal to 73. So from here to here is 73 80 fourths, 70, 73 80 fourths of a pound. So that is how much candy Kayla has all together. Kayla has, let me write this down, 73 80 fourths pounds of candy all together.